started out. Hey, it's Rob again here. We're at Gilly Lake today, and uh, I'm with Kevin, and he brought us a few fast boats today, and uh, he's going to tell you a little bit about this uh, rigger he's got right here. Go ahead, Kev. Okay, what we got here is a old er version hull. It's uh, made by a gentleman out of uh, Alabama, and he does a beautiful job building these hulls. They're all custom built. And it runs a 45 CMB motor, uh, standard piping, not too much crazy about it. But uh, this is a rebuilt motor that I had to put in because I blew the last one up at the last race I was at. So we have to use what we call a flow meter. And a flow meter is right here. Rob can take a picture of it. I'm sure anybody who runs nitro knows all about these guys. But whenever you're doing anything new or even bring the boat to a different pond site, you really want to be able to flow the carburetor to make sure that you're getting the proper amount of flow through it. And it's a good thing we did this today because since this is a different motor and different carburetor that I'm normally running on this because I run a third channel needle, uh, the flow was way off. It would have been really lean and it would not have uh, gone too far in the pond. So we're hoping that with the flow set now at 63, which is good for this boat, we're hoping that the flow is proper. We'll start it up and we'll see if we can get lucky on this beautiful day. All right, Kev, we're excited to see this one go. This is going to be a fast one, I can tell. Yeah, it's pretty, it's quick when it runs. Uh, we got the right radio. Yes, we do. Let's make sure we got contact. Let's check and see if we got what we need. We got carburetor. We got rudder. This doesn't need very much rudder because it's a little mosquito on the water. So, in saying that, uh, I need one more. Ah, uh, yes. I gotta fire up the glow plug. I don't use a normal glow stick on these for firing them up because I find that they have a tendency to wear out. And uh, whenever it's cold, they don't heat it up. So. I kind of don't mess around. I throw a 12 volt on it with an old power panel from Hobbyco and uh, get plenty of heat. Need heat with these things. Need plenty of heat. So we're going to keep it loose. I don't have a rag with me, so it might be messy, but uh, let me grab a rag real quick, guys. Hold on for that moment. There's our retrieval boat right there, just in case we have to go rescue a boat. Beautiful day today in upstate New York. 60 degrees or so, a little above. All right. A little now, wind. And we got the uh, we got the rag we need. Which, uh, what do you want to hold your radio? No way, I got it. Just uh, where? There he is. Do me a favor. Lamar, when this thing starts up, just keep it. Just keep it running, okay? Don't run it, don't rev it real high, but keep it up fairly high. I'll tell you, you'll see my hand going like this or like this. Because you gotta keep everything kind of loose with this thing. You got the fuel up right into the carve, and you don't want to put too much pressure on the head. Okay, she's licked it up, fire the hole, as they say.
six, seven ain't quite that bad. Okay. She lays a 30 foot rooster tail behind her. Kev, thanks for uh, running the boat for us. Thanks, and, uh, my feet are stuck in the mud again. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like. Hope it's you like this video. video. Hope you learned something new on this video, and uh, hey, don't forget to give it a like too. and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, Kev. You bet. Nice run, Kev.